It's Tuesday the 4th of May 2021 and welcome to another Partner Podcast. My name's Simon Virtual. With me is Mike Coop. How's it going, Mike? I'm good, I'm good. Anything exciting happened? Uh, not really. It was bank holiday weekend, uh, watched a bit of football. It's always the same story. Oh, Monotonous. I did watch a bit of football. <laughs> Should have come into work. Should have worked a little bit extra. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, today's podcast is... What's the uh, Development plans for May. Development plans for May. And maybe a little bit of a, a summary of what happened in April. Yeah. So, start off with the, um, the, 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 the big bits first. Um, Nathan Price and uh, the work on ESS Go. So, where are we up to with that now? How's it going, you know? Uh, not fully. I've seen some of the two-factor authentication that he's done. Okay, it's looking really good. The um, multi-language support, the language support is looking really interesting. So if you uh, if your phone's in Polish or yep. Hungarian or whatever, the, all of the all of the um, the installation um, and uh, yeah, the installation process is is in is in the language. So it's in the in your home language. So if you were downloading the app. Obviously, that's in English, but then when you come to install the, the app onto your phone, it detects the language and um, yep. the password set up and whatever is all in your native language. So that, that's looking really good. Also, um, he's on the verge of the um, home screen now, they're setting up the home screen. So if you look at some of the development videos that we've been posting on uh, on the on the partner, on the, is it, yeah, the partner uh, channel yeah. on dot info. Um, you'll see some, I think we call them ESS Go Dev yeah, videos. videos, I think it's four or five on there now, just little little changes you know, as we as he's developing. So that's looking really good and still we've got plans to release that in, uh, where are we now, May, so that'll be end of June I think. Yeah. Okay. The Puck, the, the, there's, we're getting a lot of interest out yeah. of all yeah. the time with Puck. Yeah. Have you done some demos on it? Uh, yeah, so we've done, we've done a couple of demos where actually it's a hardware agnostic solution. Uh, but then, for example, agency staff, a way for them to clock in yes. easily, and we, I went down the put route with that. So the reaction from customers has been positive. Positive, positive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's not just, and we might have said this before, it's not just from new customers, it's from existing customers yeah. who've got locations with, with a few people in, yeah. and they just couldn't justify and spending work, a couple yeah. of thousand pounds. So that's that's a, yeah. you know. And we're, we're going to push the pucks out of eight to pens each, aren't we? Yeah. We're, we're going to let the partners know where we get the acrylic signs from and the NFC tags. Yeah. So that's that's looking really good. Got some tags, uh, get, got some um, acrylic signs being made up for the partners at the minute. We'll distribute those yep. before we have the meetings on Friday. So that's looking 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 good and he's on track. Um, okay, so then we've got the um, the inventory yep. integration. Yep. So last time I apologised and said that it wouldn't be ready in. Uh, in March, yeah, and it yeah. was going to be April, and now yeah. it's going to be sometime in May, probably yeah. late May. Um, that's we're working on that now. I think there are other things keep popping up, so we keep having to put it back. But that's going to be that's going to be completed uh, later this month. And um, the article in the magazine, the front, the, the lead story in the Insider magazine for this for May is it's all about the, the integration. So yeah. that, that's looking good. Um, then on Jamie's side, when we come to Things like the dashboards and the and the, the new reports. Where are we up to? With so, those? J- J- we'll, do, we'll do the dashboards yeah. first. Where, okay, so that? the dashboard we've released three personnel dashboards now. Okay, where can people get those? Uh, they're on dot info on the downloads. Oh, what, what version of software do you need to run those? It's 20. just 21.1.4. Fine, okay. So those have been posted. If you go to dot info, you go to the burger menu, yeah. drop it down, there's, there's a reference yeah, to work it, in yeah. progress. And then when you download the pack, there's like a little readme text file that you follow right. how to install. And how's Jamie getting on with the uh, the, the new reports? Of the new so he's released part? two new reports. So that's uh, in the same pack, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, in the same pack, yeah. And uh, for personnel listings with sensitive data. So what's the, is the plan still that by the time we get to the end of July, the end of the the a time was financial year that we should have a full set of reports yeah we should have a full set of maybe 12 dashboards, dashboards yeah good okay anything on the what about I, I, we're doing some work with biostar integration now we've been talking about that yeah what do you know about that <laughs> uh you've told me about i forgot <laughs> uh I oh actually I remember. Remember. I can't okay there are thousands of people out there thousands of customers out there and um, we've got biostar 
connected yeah. to Suprema equipment. We work with Suprema. It's just it's a no brainer. We need to have an integration with Biostar. Yeah. Because then we can in the same way we can tap into a Paxton system, we can yeah. tap into a Biostar system. Yeah. So I think once we've got the um, inventory work out of the way this month. Yeah. And the Biostar work, I think we should start that in June. Yeah. Um, with a view to something released before the end of the financial year. Okay. Anything else? New we've got a new website coming out, that's end user really, yeah. not so much to do with trade. Anything else? Jamie's like? just going to carry on writing reports on this. He's, yeah, he's just working away to the end of July and we're going to pull him back onto some internal stuff that yeah. the CRM system we're working on. Um, um, and the, okay, so uh, the we're, we, there's going to be a 22 beta compile coming out soon that we're going to start putting in. Yeah. Uh, so this is the build up now to November to the launch of, of, of the November version. And we've got the, uh, the the big selling point for 22 this, uh, the, the, the big selling point this year is going to be ESS Go, isn't yeah. it? We're going to lead with ESS Go. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be um, getting into a couple of new markets, which are the and um, the, the time we'll bring start. out a time yeah. start and bring out a small business version of the, of the professional edition um and anything else i can think of anything it's else? the extension two but i don't know what we're extension about. two um as soon as we get our hands on it we're going to integrate with it that's um that i think is going to be our go-to uh, device because it's pure yeah. i think we're going to try and flip from uh m2s across to that unit then we don't need to yeah. install a, a uh, power supply, supply. yeah um and then we've got nmd3 reach the reach platform yeah. okay so we've been uh, we've registered the company now um set the the the, uh, the account with microsoft and um we're going to be running some tests soon and this is uh, this will tie in with the launch of ess go so and the reach platform is 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 what all three versions of time we're going to be running on in 2025 yeah um, and we've started this big push now with our end users um getting them to become reach ready you can see this uh, slogan used also on a weekly basis on on the on the advertising that we're doing on linkedin and whatever so getting reach ready and that's that's you getting the hardware ready which basically means getting rid of the yeah. old timer equipment getting onto suprema or hardware agnostic so it could be paxton it could be a, uh, an inventory yeah quick scan, quick scan, quick unit, scan yeah. device um it could be connected to genetech yeah um so it's all preparation it's the preparation of the reports preparation that's of the scripts right, yeah. getting across um so that's good that that that's 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 looking good anything else that we want to mention at this stage can you think of anything think it's good. very busy at the minute it's all sorts yeah. happening isn't it yeah um okay if anybody's got any questions they can come through to the projects team yeah. uh, they, they either uh, Liz at Broadest at timeword.co.uk or mike.coop at yep. timeword.co.uk. What's the number? Uh, 0044-1706-658-222. Well, that's a support number. Okay. 659368. <laughs> yeah. How many one. years have you worked here now? Uh, eight. About eight and a bit, yeah. You'd know the number by now. It's too confusing. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. See you Cheers, soon. Bye. bye.